Hello, my name is Ed Mason at School of Life Defense, Del Mar, Krav Maga. Um, I've made enough videos, so if you want to know what I look like, you can just back up one video and there it is. Um, I do woodwork and I'm sanding on something, so that's the sound you hear. Maybe that'll be soothing for you in some way. Uh, my point of making this video is to talk about all the drive now and all the videos saying you got to be a warrior well i believe that to be true but the definition of warrior may be may be different for many many people um you know immediately i believe you know most people when you say warrior somebody who's willing to engage in in combat or in some type of fight or conflict and yeah that's that's mainstream true you know that's what people are led to believe that a warrior is a warrior is somebody who's willing to get physical and involved in combat well while that's true that's only one version of of what a warrior could be i think there's so many examples of warriors, but let's go by the one that people are using right now. They say it's better to be a warrior in the garden than a gardener in a war. Well, without gardeners, there are no warriors because nobody's getting fed. And truth be told, what do people fight over? Territory, property, you know, goods. But let's get real basic. What do people fight over? Food, right? If things get really bad, you got to fight over food. And yeah, you need warriors to protect food, but you also need the, the warrior gardener to grow the food so that you have the energy and the sustenance to keep fighting. So to say that the, the gardener has no merit in the war is, is just not facts. The facts are is that Almost every life function, it can be considered a warrior mentality if you do it in a disciplined and, and uh, uh, I would say morally correct, where you're not hurting other people even though you're enhancing your own life and you're not forcing your way upon anybody else, but you are being yourself in your own person, in your own space. I think that's a warrior. I think people who write poetry and would never lift a hand to another person are warriors. I think people who go to work every day never complain one drop, you know, service their family, service the community, and, and honorable to the higher power, you know, the most high, I think that person is a warrior as well. Um, I think gentle people are warriors. I think uh, physically strong people are warriors, lumberjacks, bricklayers, nurses, um, people who deal, how about um, grief? a grief counselor? Somebody who helps you get through really bad situations in your life. Is that, that person not a warrior? I think everybody's a warrior, a life warrior. Fighting the battles and challenges that meet us every day, the peaks and valleys. Um, how about the mundane, everyday cycle of life that you have to repeat? I think people who do that with a chin up and square shoulders are warriors. So let's be clear. Being a warrior in the garden or a gardener in the war has its balance because you can't go forward without either. You need the warrior to protect the farmer and you need the farmer to to feed the warrior. So there is a balance here and everybody is a warrior in their own right, in their own way. Even if it has nothing to do with being physical, you could be a mental warrior, an emotional warrior. My name is Ed Masonette. I teach Krav Maga when people, you know, I teach physical self-defense when people don't have a choice. Stay safe.